No, no, I, I no, I really don't, and, and I'm and I'm glad you asked that, Stan, because um, I, we weren't wrong in 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 looking at Jason Garrett. So I don't want anybody to think that we feel jilted by Jason. Jason is an honorable guy that was put in one of the most incredibly difficult and as you know, unique circumstances yeah. that any coach has ever been put in. Um, Jason did what he thought was right at the end of the day. And so the fact that he benefited from that time is not something you can hold against a man of character. He. He didn't. He did not come here and go to Atlanta to just build Jerry Jones. He, I, I know Jerry, and I know how persuasive he is. And I knew that if I, you know, they said, "Oh, if he gets out of this building, Jerry's going to talk him into staying." Well, if, if if Jerry's capable of talking him into staying, then I don't want him. So it has to be right for Jason, and it wasn't. And I and I appreciate that, and I respect Jason. And I have, I have nothing but good things to say about Jason Garrett. He's a wonderful guy. He's, I think he's going to make a great coach. And uh, it seems to me that it's, it's going to be for the Dallas Cowboys. When, when he did leave, though, that day, did you sense you weren't getting him? No. I sensed that I that I didn't have him under contact. So I sensed I may not get him. But that's did you see emotionally? This day, when you had to win fire Brian to now, just your ups and downs as an owner. Not a lot of ups and downs. I mean, I I, I made the I made a very difficult decision and. Um, and then I find my equilibrium again. And I make a, uh, a, a decision here, and I'm and I found that equilibrium. I'm not I'm not that I may be an emotional person, but it's not about highs and lows. It's about it's about the, the, the consistency of that emotion. We had any contact with Brian since you? No, no, but I'd like to soon. Steve, you said uh, you leaned on your partners a little bit earlier. How about this time? Do you lean on your partners a little bit on the hire as well? Oh, big, yeah. big. That's what I mean, and that's. Okay. Uh, I was just talking to Stan about that. I'm, 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 lo I'm looking for a leader that leans on his partners, and that's why John's here. And uh, and of course, they could bring 80 percent of this to the table. I think they appreciated the unique perspective I had in this interview process. I think that what um, that the ones that were uh, like Ozzy and Kevin that were in uh, the search saw the similarities to the last research and uh, it's also the uniqueness that I brought to that process. When I say partners, though, I mean your partners around the league, the other owners, the other ownership. I'm, I, I, it, they, they mean a lot to me, but not to, the, 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 the credibility lies with the guy, my partners that I have here. So I lean on them more. I let them do the research uh, and then I, I, I rely on this group.